Hi, and welcome to another eSell Sub video. Now, this week, I've decided to uh, feature something which we regularly get asked, why have a local search strategy in the first place? So I was actually at MTEX uh, last week, which is a um, pretty big uh, show in London um, at the Excel for a couple of days. And we had uh, uh, Google uh, come along and speak on our behalf. Uh, Digantica uh, Mitra uh, came and spoke to us, um, who's our, our relationship manager at Google. And one of the questions we had from the audience is, I'm already running PPC or Google Ads, so why do we need to do local search strategy? Because surely I'm hoovering up all the available search by having a Google Ads strategy. Well, I think it was a really interesting topic for debate, which is why I've uh, produced this video. So I'm going to give you the five reasons why local search should be in your strategy, whether you're e-commerce, whether you're you know a local service provider, we're going to give you the five reasons why. I'm going to delve right into the, the kind of stats straight away. So the first thing is, when you go into your Google AdWords account, you'll uh, be able to find uh, on your interface um, impression share. Now, I am yet to see a client or a company that has got 100% impression share. Now, what does impression share mean? Okay, it's a good question. So impression share is the amount of times that your ad gets served, so not necessarily clicked, but served, to the amount of searches that are actually in um, in your, your, your keywords. So for example, um, we've got an estate agency client, um, and they don't cover the whole of the UK, but they cover some parts of it, and they get about a 32% impression share. Now, if you're running a national campaign, and you're covering the whole of the UK, the chances are your impression share is going to be pretty low. And, you know, again, it is almost practically impossible to get 100% impression share. So what a local strategy enables you to do is to grow that impression share in certain markets. And what I mean by certain markets, certain geographical locations. So you can actually get your ad out to more relevant searches or more relevant people that are searching for your product and therefore increases your impression share. So it's a really handy, uh, local search is a real handy way uh, to actually improving your, your impression share. Now, one of the other things is, and this is a big thing that, that, that Google play on, is relevancy of your ad. So obviously, as you know, the higher relevancy of your, your ad, um, your Google ad on, um, on AdWords, in theory, the higher the click-through rate that you're gonna get. And why is that important? Well, the more people that click on your ad, the more people that will go to your website and therefore hopefully the more people that you will actually convert um, if you have a, a good quality landing page for them to go to. Now, how do you make your ads as relevant as you possibly can? Well, location is actually one of the ways that you can make it more relevant and increase those click-through rates. So again, when I look at um, uh, what Google's trying to do, is what's the one hook that Google are trying to do is they're trying to find out your location or present you ads that are more relevant to you through where you're located. So actually, you know, bear in mind Google's invested billions of pounds in developing this technology. Why not use it to your benefit to generate more leads or more sales or more e-commerce transactions? And therefore, by making your ads very, very relevant to the location of the searcher, you can get really, really good click-through rates. Now, when you look at WordStream, they do some really, really good industry benchmarks. And I would say from what we can see uh, from our click-through rates with our clients, by using a localized strategy, we're pretty much double to three times greater in our click-through rate than some of the, the WordStream um, examples that are given in their benchmarking. So it definitely helps your click-through rate and growing that click-through rate if you're using a localized strategy. So the third reason is targeting customers with greater accuracy. Now, one of the questions I get asked last week is, hey, you know, look, I run an e-commerce store. I'm selling, you know, clothes. Why do we need a location strategy? Well, believe it or not, this is crazy to, to imagine, but there's different weather in the UK. So yeah, it is a bit more chilly in Scotland compared to Cornwall. The weather is very, very different. If you do some analysis on your, your retail say, sales, off your website, you will find different pockets 
of um, of locations that respond differently, whether it be to brands, whether it be to the actual products themselves, um, to the type of garments that they want to buy. By having a localized strategy, even if you're an e-commerce provider, it enables you again to, to, to produce a more relevant uh, campaign, which means that you can drive traffic potentially at a much cheaper rate by targeting specifically, you know, garments, items that are more relevant to where they're located. And it was really funny because we, um, we had a client a few years ago that was a heating client. Um, they had a service area in Scotland and also in Southampton. And they couldn't get the heads around, well, you know, why is it that Scotland's doing so well for heating repairs and Southampton isn't? And literally there was a, a 15 degree difference in temperature that week between Southampton and Scotland. Winter had hit, hit, had hit Scotland, it hadn't hit Southampton yet. And that's what they were seeing, almost four or five times the, um, the, the rate of inquiries coming through up in Scotland. Now, again, without geo-targeting uh, Scotland, they probably never would have seen it, never would have been able to take advantage of that early winter that hit Scotland a few years ago. So it's definitely one to consider. The fourth reason is, is higher converting sales. Now, Google's done some research on this. Um, what, what the research suggests is that um, by localizing your content and targeting local search, you're going to get double the amount of sales conversions. We think it's you know potentially higher than that. We've got some clients that convert around 70%, which probably sounds a bit crazy, but some of the more emergency-led customers, some of the more considered purchases that we drive leads for, the conversion is generally between 40 and 50%. Yet, you know, you're talking about an e-commerce site, you'll be very, very lucky to get, you know, between 7 and 10% conversion. So what local search enables you to do is to really almost like laser sight those those customers and they're very very high converting so you know over time what you'll start to see is you'll be able to tell your message specifically different areas and generate those high converting sales so but what does this all mean and and really that's where I come to my fifth reason is it's all about reducing your cost of sales so if you can get a, a higher click through rate uh, a better impression share you know, you're targeting people with a more relevant message, which leads to, to higher converting sales, you're going to reduce your cost per sale. And this isn't really an old trick. You know, Yellow Pages, you know, was around for years. Um, I remember when I was at uh, Nationwide Auto Centers before we sold it to Alfreds, Yellow Pages used to drive about 30, 40% of our, of our business. It was really, really cheap. Um, unfortunately, you know, the directory started to lose its, its ability to drive traffic and you know, all of local search essentially moved online or onto Google. But it, back in the day, it was still a really, really good source of business. And that's exactly what we see with local search is a lot of our clients find that they they join it together with the, the national search. They're looking at the brand terms, they're kind of more generic terms. But the local search enables them to lower their, their cost per sale because it's slightly cheaper to do. They get a higher click-through rate. With a much much higher converting, so it enables them to bring down their, their cost per sale. You know, it might only be by a few points, but it certainly uh, makes a big difference to, to quite a few of our clients. So that's the five reasons why you know we believe that um, you should include local search within your strategy. As always, please do leave your comments uh, below this video, uh, and if you have any questions, do get in contact. My name is Mark Taylor. I'm the CEO of eSalesHub. Thank you very much for watching our video.